Hello and welcome to the Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast with me, clinical somatic educator and founder of Total Somatics, Heidi Hadley. The Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast has been designed to help you gain a deeper understanding to how your mind and body work. You will learn about your amazing mind and body and why over time you can feel pain, recurring injuries and poor posture. Within this podcast, I will teach you why this doesn't have to be your future or the norm for you. Would you like to learn how to reduce pain, move freely and gain a new lease of life? Let's get started. Hello and welcome back. Now, just before we get started with this extract from this recent workshop series, just want to encourage you to like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell if you're watching this on the Total Somatics YouTube channel. That means every time an episode is released, you're the very first to find out. Also, the benefit at the moment of watching on the YouTube channel is because I'm sharing extracts from this recent online event that I held. And there are a few slides that you may appreciate that will go along with what I'm explaining. So just before we get started, I thought I'd just let you know a bit of what we're going to be discussing in this episode. And that is that our emotions hold different sort of feelings and imprints within our soma. And in this particular extract, we're going to look at the emotion of guilt and how that is being held within our tissues and also a lot more to do with that subject. So enjoy this extract. So we're gonna just unpack this again here, break it right down because people can hold on to this stored emotion of guilt. And what they can do is keep reliving the event over and over and over again. They might do it in their head, they might talk to people about it, and it could be something from years ago, but they keep reliving it. And what happens is, and this is what the neuroscience and neuropsychology shows, is that every time you talk about this or you think about it, you relive that, relive that event and you create the same impact in your nervous system as the first time it happened. It reignites and creates the same intensity. That's how powerful it is. However, natural human nature is that every time you might repeat this either to somebody or in your head, it always gets a little bit more embellished, always gets a bit richer, a little bit more is added to it. It's just human nature. And so what happens is it gets bigger and it gets bigger and it creates again this dysregulated pattern. And so what we want to do is look at how we can break this, what is called a feedback loop or a neurofeedback loop. It's where it just keeps being stuck again, like a broken record, stuck energy. It just won't move. And again, that is really exhausting. If you keep pushing something down at the same time, you're creating the same angst and the same emotions was the first time round. It's gnawing and eating away inside. And that's going to affect your physical, your mental, your emotional, your energetic health. And as you can see here, I've put for yourself, but also for others that you encounter. So again, looking at how we want to create a regulated nervous system, we want to be able to release a lot of this emotion because it's going to help us with our inner calm and peace, but it's also going to help with those interpersonal relationships. And so, for example, do you remember last time I mentioned about when you're doing your movement practice, that 33 minute movement practice? And, you know, there were comments mentioned about this, that emotions will come up. Now, I've broken this down just so that we can understand it here. But what I'd love you to do is not think about it, overthink about it, try and put a label or a reason to why you're feeling maybe frustrated or angry or sad as you do the movements. What I'd love you to do is just notice like an observer, curious, notice the emotion, maybe stop the movement for a moment, do a few deep breaths, feel comfortable noticing that emotion, and then it will just waft away like the clouds in the sky, it will just move on. What we want to do is allow it to move and just disperse rather than the learned behavior, which can come from generations where we're like, oh, I don't like this feeling, really uncomfortable, I'm not sure about this, let's push it back down. And of course, when we push it back down, we're going to keep a dysregulated pattern in our nervous system. So can you see, notice these emotions, don't overthink them, let them start to release. Every time you're doing this, you're starting to create greater capacity within your nervous system, a greater capacity of feeling and noticing different emotions, but feeling comfortable to sit with them, but letting them just go. Again, we are more subconscious than conscious. We are so sensory 
there are so many things that we take in that we don't realize that when you're feeling these releases, you probably don't even realize or notice or know when that happened because you're so busy doing other things. So just remember that, we, you know, there's a lot of imprints and we just want to allow them to naturally release with our practice. So I hope you enjoyed the extract and I'd really love to know your thoughts on this. So if you're watching this on the Total Somatics YouTube channel, please leave your comments below. I love to hear from you. And also in the meantime, if you're interested in delving in deeper to Total Somatic Movement, if you go to totalsomatics.com, click on the shop page and you'll find there there are workshop series that you can purchase. There are also audios as well. There's lots of resources there so you can get started today. Also, if you're really interested in coming into the Total Somatics membership, if you go to totalsomatics.com totalsomatics and then click on the Join Now page, you can then leave your details there. And then next time we open the doors to the membership, you're the very first to find out. So that's totalsomatics.com and then click on the Join Now page. So until next time, all my love and my very best wishes. Take care. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. To learn more about pain relief, plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.